So, um, the tower is all about unexpected change, something that was built on a very shaky foundation, whether that be a relationship, a job, um, an actual home. Um, anything that's not secure or solid will fall away with the tower. But normally this card talks about just um, outside forces exerting their powers on us or, you know, other people make decisions and we can really only react to it because we don't have control over whatever is happening. So sometimes that's just a challenge in and of itself, dealing with situations that we can't control, right? Um, we all like to be in control of our lives and where we're going and, and you know, when things happen that it's like, oh my God, I can't do anything about this. Um, you know, we can kind of start to, uh, to feel helpless about it. For some of you, this could have been a change in a relationship because Esau is here. So maybe you are recently divorced or you're going through a divorce or a separation and maybe this came as a surprise to you. Or these energies can always work both ways, Libra. Maybe it was you kind of springing this on somebody that you wanted to break up or you wanted to, you know, you weren't happy, you wanted to get a divorce. Because you have Aeol, which is actually a very beneficial rune, it indicates um, spiritual guidance. Whatever is happening, whatever unexpected has been going on or whatever has kind of shaken up the foundations has been for the better. And it's actually clearing the way for for uh, better energy and for opportunities to kind of start coming at you. Um, this was in the way. Whatever has been kind of falling away, this person, this relationship, this job, this situation was blocking you. Uh, it was in your way. Um, and, you know, I think the most difficult thing with this is um, the residual feelings, the residual attachments that kind of hang around when there's been a breakup. So you may be feeling attached still to someone from the past or someone that you are no longer with, Libra, even though maybe, you know, um, they hurt you and kind of left you with no, there was no decision to make, but to, to, uh, end that, um, could have been the same with a job. Maybe you were fired from a job or let go. And, uh, you know, you took it really hard because, you know, of course it's like, Hey, um, what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> you know, uh, how am I supposed to support myself? Um, but even if that was the case, that job was probably was, uh, holding you back from what you're either really supposed to be doing or you were miserable there anyway. And now you're going to be free to find a better situation or that is what you are working on. And I do think for some of you, this is job focused because I've got a lot of indications here that uh, there are going to be some choices and opportunities coming up in July regarding work, career. Um, so whatever has happened, unexpected though it may have been and disappointing and hurtful though it may have been, it was supposed to happen. Um, it was because your spiritual guidance is here. Spirit was clearing the way for the new. So your challenge in July is again, yeah, just kind of uh, getting over this or letting it go or not thinking about it. Um, moving on with your life, uh, moving on to better vistas, um, surrounding yourself with better people too. For, because for some of you that this was a a relationship doesn't have to be romantic. It could have been an argument and a, and a severing of ties with anyone, but it would have been some, something that was very significant uh, to you, a relationship that was quite significant. But for many of you, you broke off with somebody because someone better came along. <laughs> This is all about new influences as well. If it's not talking about spiritual guidance, which it always is, really. Um, it can talk about somebody new entering your life who is very beneficial, very supportive, very helpful to you. Um, very help you kind of get over the hump or transition into a new phase. And uh, you're still being guided by spirit to meet this person. So they're coming in due to uh, spiritual intervention in a way. Um, now, in the present energy, so this would be the end of June moving into July, we've got the uh, the Two of Coins. So this is talking about, um, you know, opportunities, partnering up with another person or a business. So, um, and you've got the Rune of Joy next to this. So there's a goal or something that you've gone after that you are very happy about. You've either gotten the job, 
you may have gotten two jobs, some of you, with the two of coins. Or um, yeah, maybe you're starting a business with a partner. You've decided to team up and, and uh, you know start collaborating on something. Or, or uh, some of you are working two jobs or you are gonna be working, going to school. You're juggling two different things, right? Um, some of you are just gonna be able to juggle your finances. Maybe there was something that was a big kind of financial blow. The tower can sometimes be that too, like a, like a huge expense or something breaks, you know, that's quite expensive to fix. And you were wondering, oh my God, am I gonna be able to pay for this? And two of coins is saying, yes, you're gonna be able to juggle your finances. You're gonna be able to, um, you know, take money from one account, move it into another and, and, and make this happen here. Um, make sure that everything is taken care of and, and paid. But um, some of you are gonna have a choice between two job options and it's nice to have choices. I think you're gonna be excited uh, about both of them. There's one that I feel like you've put a lot of effort into getting or it's one that you really are excited about. Like you really want to, to work for this company. You really wanna team up with this person. Um, so you're manifesting before, uh, you know, right here out of the gate in July, Libra, money-wise, career-wise, uh, definitely teaming up with somebody to bring in more money, make more money, create a company that's gonna bring in more money. Some of you may be working the day job and starting a business or partnering with someone on part-time to see how it goes. Um, but this would be somebody that you get along with and I feel like maybe you met them if you met them at work or they are like in your network for career, you you also get on as friends. This would be somebody that you just enjoy spending time with, whether you're at work or, uh, you know, out socializing and, and having fun. So um, I feel like you trust this person. They trust you. You have a similar vision. Everything is in line and your strengths really kind of mesh well together. And if it's a company that you're partnering with, the same thing, the environment is very um, in tune with yours, vibing with yours, not like this other place. If it, it, not like this place where you got fired or, or let go from. Um, so yeah, I, I think you're gonna see in July why whatever the tower is signifying here, why it happened, what it was actually clearing the way for. Um, and don't be afraid of the tower. I know a lot of people are, but it's really, you know, Sometimes we want big change, you know, and it's just that whole situation where it's kind of out of our control the way it happens. But um, the intensity of this will vary for, for all of you. Some of you, it will be, you know, a, a lighter energy. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten something like this in a general reading and it was just like an argument with somebody or, you know, a minor thing that maybe for other people was a big deal. But, um, don't let it scare you. Uh, I'm really not feeling like this energy is that intense for most of you. It's like this was in the past and it's just like you're still kind of trying to find your footing. But again, you're being protected by your spirit guides. You're being led by spirit, by your intuition to applying for the right things and finding a way to replace whatever this was that was um, cleared away. And for many of you, it's a job. The help coming in. We've got the five of wands in reverse. So this is, um, man, whatever this gig is, like there's not a lot of competition uh, for for it. So, and what I mean by that is not that there's no one applying. Although for some of you, maybe it's like you've got the inside track or you've got, you know, somebody's just hiring you outright without talking to anybody else. Um. But what I mean by that for, for others of you is that there's not anybody with your skill level applying for this position that you want or, or you know, they don't have a shot compared to your resume, you know? There, there's uh, there's really like, uh, you're at the top of the, the game here. And um, it may be a bit of a slow process for this. I'm almost, I, I, I'm hearing someone like they're saying, okay, well, you know, I really want to give it to you, but I have to interview the people that applied at the company. You know, I have to go through this before we can get you in here and get going on this. So there may be a bit of a, a of a wait, but not overly long here with Daya. It just means like, you know, it's not an overnight thing. There's a process, but um, you've got it in the bag here, Libra. 
So those of you that are concerned about finding another job, don't be. I, I really don't feel like uh, you're going to have a lot of problems. And July, um, I think, is going to solidify that for you. Uh, what must be accepted? You've got the uh, the hanged man. So this is a period of suspension. Again, kind of reiterating what we were talking about here, waiting before you could move ahead. But again, it's like it's a goal you can achieve. You're going to get the gig. And I think you'll get word that you have it or that you're going to get it. But it's just one of those things where it's, not, it's like I can't sign on the dotted line yet or I have to wait until some other process is uh, completed before I can do this. For others of you, maybe you have to... Um, like you're teaming up with this person, but it's like, I can't leave my full-time day job. Cause again, remember some of you are juggling like the day job, but also kind of starting a side business or business partnership with someone and doing that too. So you may be kind of like, um, okay, I gotta wait. I really do want to quit my day job and just do the, the thing I want to do full time, but I gotta wait and see. I don't want to rush into anything. Um, some of you, there's a job in a different location that may require either a longer commute or a uh, a move. But I feel like you want to move. Like with AWAS, you want this shift to happen now or you just want to move into the job right away. But um, some of you, maybe this time out is taking place or this like period of having to wait so that you can look at like, where would I live and kind of review those choices. Or, or some of you may be giving, it may be like you get the job, but then because it's in, you have to move and relocate. It, you know, you have to get all that situated uh, before you can start the job. Maybe that's the kind of uh, waiting period uh, here for some of you. Um, many of you, this opportunity, like if you don't, if the job hasn't appeared yet when you're watching this at the beginning of July, um, you've got the Ace of Rods. So it is going to come out of nowhere, unexpected with Hagalas. It's weird because Hale is kind of, it's got a lot of similarities to the Tower card. It's like, so for me, seeing that it's going to come in in an unexpected way or a way that like, you know, it's not going to be a way you have control over, like scrolling on the Internet, looking for jobs or, uh, you know, anything you're putting effort into to find a job. It's going to come to you in an unexpected way. Um, and for those of you that it doesn't happen in July, it's definitely going to happen within the time frame of summer because I've got the sun room here. So before September 21st. Um, anytime between now and just, and September 21st is when this opportunity is going to appear. And it is something that you're very passionate about as well. Now, this card does have a lot of associations with pregnancy and birth. So some of you with hail here could be um, giving birth in the summertime. But I really feel like for some of you, it could be an unexpected pregnancy that pops up in the summertime. Again, before September 21st. So be careful if, if uh, you really don't want that, because I mean that would kind of that would be one something that would rock your world, right? And um, some of you maybe that's what you're dealing with. It was like there was an unexpected pregnancy, and now you know um, my partner wasn't ready, and they they don't. That's put the relationship either on shaky ground, or your partner has left and doesn't want anything to do with kids, or or. Um, it, you know, you're the one who got someone pregnant and you don't want anything to, you know, but again, this is, this is more like happening to you. So I feel like for many of you, it's just, um, my partner wasn't ready for that. Um, but regardless, I mean, it's going to be a gift to you. Those of you that are in that situation, because I feel like for the most part, maybe you didn't start out happy about it, or maybe you don't start out happy about it, but happy about it but then you are you kind of get used to the idea and are kind of excited about it <laughs> kind of really excited about it and and passionate about it because this uh this ace of rods is in the upright so um and there is like these little naked baby looking gnomes on here i don't know if you can see that it's right he's right there in the middle of the tree or the rod there um 
So yeah, this could be a baby shower, a celebration of a birth, or or um, you and other people are going to be happy, whether or not the 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 other parent is. Um, but you know, maybe it, maybe that you and the kid would be better off in that case, because again, with Aol here, whatever happened is for the best. Or maybe they're going to change their mind or come to their senses. Maybe it was just a, a shocking thing at first, and they needed to think about that for a minute or needed their space for a minute. Um, but no, for many of you, I feel like this is a job opportunity coming in in an unexpected way. And um, it's something you're very passionate about or something that you really wanted. Like when you applied for it, you're really gonna wanna get this. And again, I feel like your qualifications or even maybe just the way you word your cover letter or uh, the experience that you've had, it's gonna kind of like, you know, put you in the lead for getting this position. So, um, wow, really awesome energy here, Libra. I really feel like the month is gonna end on a positive note and you feeling like um, it's time to take action and I'm excited to take action on something or I'm excited about the future. I'm excited to see where this is going. Um, I'm feeling really positive. Because uh, this is a victory. The the sun rune is a rune also a victory and uh, not letting our thoughts dry us down or, or negative self-image hold us back. Um, no matter what's gone on before, because, you know, something like this, if it happened in the past, could shake your confidence a little bit, either in starting new relationships or like if you were fired from a job or let go, it can kind of be like, oh, well, you know, I must not be any good at this. That's not the case. That's not what I'm seeing. In fact, I'm seeing you're one of the top in your field here, Libra. And I think you're going to get some excellent uh, confirmation of that from the opportunities coming in for you in July. So, um, and you've got the rune of joy here as well. So whatever unexpected or shocking news that you got or will get in July, um, it, it, again, it's it's paving, it's getting something out of the way so that this good stuff can come in. And it's, it seems to be happening simultaneously, though. It's like they, it's like yes, there's this, but then there's like you already know about this as well. So it's kind of like um, outweighing anything that would be kind of throwing you for a loop or anything unexpected going on. So um, let me know how this pans out for you, Libra. I'm interested in see, it's, it's, there's a lot going on in your reading here. So I would be interested in, in knowing how this pans out for you. Definitely uh, uh, let me know, especially at the end of July, like how this came to pass for you. Because I feel like for some of you, it may just be the tail end of July that this opportunity comes in or, or um, maybe even later in the summer, but keep me updated.